The Russian invasion of Ukraine entering its ninth day. Russian forces continuing their assault on several cities, including shelling a nuclear power plant. Fox 5's Robert Moses live outside the UN with all the details, Robert. Reagan, within the last half hour or so, we've learned the attack on that nuclear power plant has been deadly. Three Ukrainian soldiers killed, another two injured, according to the company that runs that nuclear power plant. It's an attack that Norway's prime minister called madness. For the first time ever in our history, in the history of humankind, the terrorist country has reverted to nuclear terror. This morning, a fire started by Russian shelling at the Zaporizhskaya nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine, Europe's largest, has been extinguished. Russian forces now control the site. A plant spokesman says one of six reactors, which he said was under renovation and not operational, was hit and caught fire. The International Atomic Energy Agency tweeted that there was no change in radiation levels at the site. The developments were enough to terrify Ukraine's president, who spoke about an explosion at the plant in emotional, apocalyptic terms. If there is an explosion, that's the end for everyone, the end for Europe, the evacuation of Europe. Ukraine's foreign affairs minister tweeted, if it blows up, it will be 10 times larger than Chernobyl, a reference to the plant in northern Ukraine, the site of the world's worst nuclear disaster in 1986. The White House says President Joe Biden spoke last night to Ukraine's president and joined him in urging Russia to end its military activity in the area and allow firefighters and emergency responders to access the site. Only immediate action can stop the Russian troops. Don't let Europe die in the nuclear catastrophe. Before the fire at the plant, another round of talks in Belarus between Ukraine and Russia yielded no breakthroughs. But it did lead to a tentative agreement for ceasefires to allow for safe passage for evacuees and delivery of humanitarian supplies. A third round of talks is expected early next week. Russia's assault shows no signs of slowing. Russian President Vladimir Putin told French President Emmanuel Macron yesterday that he plans to continue his attacks, quote, until the end, according to Macron's office. The fire at the nuclear power plant clearly raises the stakes. No country has ever shot at nuclear blocks except for Russia. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has called for an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council in response to the attack. Again, we are just learning this morning the attack has had deadly consequences with three Ukrainian soldiers killed, another two injured. We will continue to follow the casualty count in that attack. Reagan, back to you. All right, thank you for that live report, Robert Moses.